Laura, this is Jewelry Etc. And I'm going to admit, I was really in debate whether I was going to make a video today or not. And that is because my nails, frankly, are atrocious. They're embarrassing. I'm embarrassed by them. I always have them done, but I didn't have time to do them myself. And the salons aren't open right now. And even if they were, finding the time to go to one with three children is a very big challenge for me. So part of my nails, but I really am dying to get into this box. So I'm just gonna go for it. This box was, honestly, I can't even remember if this was, no, this was a, uh, a an estate sale, an online estate sale auction that I won, I'm pretty sure. It should all just be costume jewelry, but I don't usually buy costume jewelry lots unless I see something that looks like it has potential. To be honest, I have no idea what it was in this one. I know the only thing I remember from this lot is there's a Hello Kitty earring, <laughs> which um, I'm going tacking this thing from really odd angles. It's just like a one-off earring and uh, Hello Kitty stuff sells this. So I thought maybe I could turn it into a pendant and try to sell it as a necklace. Other than that, I don't remember what else is in there. I think maybe there might be a cross that I was hoping was gold. I don't know. We'll see what's in here, because I, I mean, we're just going to have to find out together, because I really, really don't remember. All right, here we go. Should we dig right Okay, this is just some bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. All right. Oh, cool. Look at that. All right, first up. Look at that. It's an agate slice. That is really neat, and the whole necklace, unfortunately, it's cracked here has some damage but I don't know if that really matters too much that might still sell anyway this is very similar to a piece I got in the last box that was like a turquoise agate and I actually ended up wearing it I repaired it because it had uh, an issue with it not because <laughs> I originally wasn't going to do anything with it but then my three-year-old got a hold of it and broke it apart so I had to put it back together Anyway, this is almost identical in style. Just this piece was round, and like I said, it was blue, or like a turquoise. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I might try to sell that one. I do need to fix this little piece here. There's just like a loose wire that needs to be fed back into that bead. All right, so that, that's right on the top there. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Ooh, okay, looks like we've got some more agate. More agate beads. This is similar to the last one too. Does it have a pendant? No. Okay, so these are just beads. And strung there. Look at that. Wow, that is a long strand. That is probably at least a three foot strand, if not four. Ooh, holy moly, look how big this thing is. Yeah, no, that's even, that's gotta be more than four. I don't know what that is, but that's a long. That is a lot of beads. Okay, again, I'll probably try to sell these. They're really pretty. That, that might be like a nice one to wear, like all, and I always end up putting this jewelry on. This one needs to be wiped down a little bit, but together, you think? You know what I'm saying? Like wearing a ton of layers of this agate. I know, I'm sorry, this box is kind of in the way. I'm gonna try to sell this. All right, this look, okay, it's a bracelet. It's actually, believe it or not, these are stones. Or glass, one or the other, probably glass. No, that I'm saying it out loud. But we used to make these back in like high school. So something similar. We would make like lizards and things like that. And uh, I have plastic beads. This I'm gonna just throw into the craft lot. If you see like a ton of junk on my table, I have different piles going. There's a craft lot, there's resellable items, there's miscellaneous like bits, like single earrings and things like that. It's a lot of All right, next layer. Okay, all right. All right, we got another stone bracelet. Ooh, that one feels nice. That spring is still pretty good on there. I don't know if this is my taste or not, but I like it. I don't know what kind of stone that is either. Maybe a carnelian and 
You know what? I think it's Labradorite. I don't know why I said it that way. Lab Labradorite. Is that even right? That doesn't sound, it's like, it sounds funny when I'm saying it. Labradorite. Labradorite. I don't know why I said it that way. There's some, uh, like, blue iridescence in this stone right there. That's why I'm thinking it. I don't know if you can really tell from there, but I definitely can. That one's got it real bad. And it does, it looks like Labradorite. So I think that's definitely what that is. That I'm definitely going to try to sell, especially since it's still got plenty of spring left in it. That one's kind of cool. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the orange. Otherwise, like, orange is probably my least favorite color, if I'm being honest. I might keep this for myself if it was any other color. But man, look at that. All oh, these stones are so cool. Uh, all right. I'm, I'm going to think about that one. Okay, this one is... Oh, unfortunately, it's got... Oh, it's magnetic. Okay, so this got this chain here that I guess is supposed to be loose oh okay all right and it's uh let's see it's sticking to the thing wow look at that there's a price tag in there for 22 bucks no no sir this is not a 22 dollar piece in my humble opinion but it is pretty neat look at that okay all right I'm gonna try to sell this one Although it bothers me that the chain is like all screwy on there. Like it's maybe it was supposed to be sewed down or something. I don't know. It's a cool piece though. I really like this clasp. I like that. It's a pretty secure feeling. Man, these are like all stone. Here's another one. Oh, it goes this way. Okay. Is this another agate one? I don't know. So, um, not totally the best on stones, but there's like some lines going through it, which is what makes me think that maybe dyed or something like that. It's, it is, it's not the springiest stretch there, but it's still, it's still coming together pretty good. So I'll probably try to sell it. Whew, man, this box is really testing my gemstone knowledge. All right, so it looks like we have just plain old quartz, tiger's eye quartz, snowflake obsidian. This might be cornelian again. I think this one so is very similar. I might be totally wrong on that, but I think this is what it is. More tiger's eye. Quartz, tiger's eye, quartz. This is crystal quartz versus, well, I don't know, I guess that's just plain old quartz. Obsidian. And this almost, I guess it's a carne, corn, carnelian, cornelian, carnelian. But it almost looks like a rose quartz on the other side, but I guess it's just clearer. And dang, that one's got some stretch to it. I like that too. I, I'm gonna wear that one for now, but I will probably end up selling it. Here's another stone one. I do not know what that is. Sodalite, maybe? Somebody tell me if you recognize it. It's just like a pale blue. It's got little speckles throughout. It almost looks like a, like a granite or a, um, I don't want to say a quartz, but maybe. Who knows? Okay, so that one's going over there. Another one. Wow. There's a lot of stone pieces. I thought they were all plastic. All right, what is that? What is that? I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Can I like start stacking these? Ooh, yes I can. Yes I can. All right, I like that one too. I'm gonna get some workouts in with this, like doing some fast paced walking, you know, instead of holding weights, you just put a bunch of stone bracelets on your wrist. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, but, oh. yeah. Pop beads, blast from the past. Did anybody have these? I had a ton when I was growing up. Whew, are pop beads worth anything? Probably not. Man, actually I have a set upstairs. My mom found hers and gave me some. They're like falling apart stuff. These ones aren't doing too, too swell either. You can kind of tell they're, uh, maybe you can't tell because of the camera focus. 
there's uh, just like some that outer paint or whatever you I guess whatever coating that is is coming off in spots. I guess I'll throw it in the craft lot. I might look it up and see if those are worth anything, but I highly doubt it. All right, okay. We've got what looks like some branch coral and something else. I don't know what that brownstone is. What do you think that is? I don't know. The branch coral is pretty though. I just had a fiasco on eBay with branch coral. I sold a necklace out of that lot and the woman said it's falling apart while she's wearing it. I don't know if I believe her or not, but she might be telling the truth. I don't know. I don't know how these things hold up, but I, I've been told that coral is pretty durable and people are kind of amazed at how well it holds up. So I don't know. And she hasn't responded when I asked her for pictures. So all right, this one's choking me out. I'm going to look this up and see if this has any value. Although barrel class and fishing wire to me does not mean valuable. But you never know. Actually, this is not fishing wire. It's like a metal wire of some sort. I'll look into this one just because of the coral. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe try to sell that one online. Okay. Here comes the next layer. Although, just a bag. Okay. Hmm. I'm not so sure about this one. Holy crap, the thing is chunky and huge and crazy big. What is this? I guess it's wood. Or is it bone? It feels like stone. No, it's got to be wood. Right? What is that? What kind of thing is this? All right, so this, the outer part for certain looks like wood these two end pieces and feels like wood. But this center piece feels like a billiard ball. So what do you think that is? And it looks like butt. Does it not? I've never held a piece of bone this large, so I don't know if that's what it is. And it, I don't know, it's got weird like, like lines through it that make it look bony. <laughs> to me. What are these pieces? What are you? That's like a plastic metal. There's some, I don't know what that is. Probably halite or something. Maybe not. I don't know what that piece is. It wants to be turquoise, but is it? Probably not. What is that? I, man, I'm really getting stuck dumped on this one. That looks like bone too. I guess it must be, maybe they're, I don't know. I've never, like I said, I've never held a piece of bone jewelry that large before. I mean, it is huge. It is larger than my thumb. I don't want to keep directing your attention to my ugly hands, but I don't know. Do I dare try to sell that? Would anybody buy this? I don't know. It has some really cool stones on it though. I like these turquoise ones. That actually might be real turquoise. All right, there's another one for me to research. Here's all glass beads. That is really pretty. That is a nice piece. It has, unfortunately, a little piece of string coming off there, but it feels pretty dang solid. Let's see, and does the button clasp work? I don't know, that seems a little tricky. Hmm, I don't know about that clasp holding up there. And especially this thing is like falling apart over here. Hey, so what do you think? You know what, I have a bag of glass beads going. Maybe I'll just throw this in there. Maybe someone can fix this up. And this is my glass beads bag. Uh, and maybe turn this into something really cool. I like this piece a lot. It's not like the piece itself is falling apart. It's just the, like the closure, I guess. Anyway, that looks pretty neat though. Alrighty. Okay, and then we've got another a mother of pearl, I guess, or not a mother of pearl, abalone, I suppose, dyed abalone. 
That is interesting. It's very, very textured. Hmm. I've never seen, I've never seen that. I've seen the flat pieces a million times. I've seen them inlaid in things. I don't think I've ever seen a bracelet made like this. With, especially with the, I've seen like slivers, you know, all set next to each other. This one with like the, that has these little pointy pieces on them. I don't know, that's really interesting. Everything is interesting in this box. All right, we have another, oh, it's one of those magnet ones. Isn't that cool? skilled enough to do this. Nope. I'm not. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm struggling. All right. You know what? You know what? We're not going to do that. But I'm going to put this on. So I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking about going to like a local like vendor show or craft show or, you know, market, flea market kind of style thing. I'm just getting all my costume jewelry out on a table and splitting them into like $5 and $3. And that is it. Everything will be either be $5 or $3. Anything more than that, I will try to sell on eBay. That's what I'm thinking. So that one will probably go into that lot. This one too. And this is just, this is probably a $3 piece, I would say. Three bucks. Let it go. Let it go quick. I kind of like that though. This, this is me in high school. Sturka 2000-ish. Fung. Well, it's got a name on there, so now I feel like obligated to look it up. Fung, yuck, fung. It's like Y-E-K-F-U-N-G. Unless I'm reading that wrong, which is entirely possible because my eyes are no good. Or yin? Yin Feng. Now that one looks like a K and the other one looks like an N. Or is it an M? <laughs> Maybe it's Yin Feng. Either way, I'm gonna look up. All right, we're at the bottom of the box already. Okay, so this hasn't been as amazing as I thought, but ooh, this is really nice piece. This is looks hand done. Uh, it's a little, I kinda like that. It's a little, a little big for me though so I feel like if I wore this this thing is just gonna be flopping around on me the whole time but it actually does feel pretty nice look at that so I put a lot of effort into that I kind of like that I do and I like this little AB bead in the middle the Aurora Borealis bead in the center it's very pretty and it's just like a woven it's almost like an antique brass or antique gold. That's pretty nice. I'll put them on the... Oh, hey, does this match? Almost. Do you think this is... This might have been handmade too. Look at that. It's got this little button clasp. And it does look like it goes together, doesn't it? There's a little hair on it. What? What? Oh, it's adjustable too. Okay. All right, I'm kind of digging that. And we've got a matching one here. Ah, made in Indonesia. Okay, so it's still probably handmade. Like by a crafter, an Indonesian crafter. Those are cool. You could probably even get both of these and twist them up together when you warm. That would be really neat. I like the way that looks a lot. I like that the beads are metallic. It's kind of like a bluish gun metal and then this kind of antique gold. I like that. Can't say I like this. Uh, is this jewelry? I don't think so. This looks like it came off of a pillow. Um, I'll put it in the crafting lot. It's not for me, but. All right, then we have this little compact. I'm assuming it's a mirror. Yeah. Is it old though? I don't know. It definitely has a pattern on it that looks a bit mod, but is it actually old? It's hard to say. Okay. All right. So I have a compact mirror now. 
Okay. All right, place your bets. Place your bets. Is there just one item in here or many? It feels a little weighted, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking we have a few more pieces in here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. This is, I don't remember how much I paid for this lot. I wish it did. I don't think it's too terribly much. Ew, what is that? Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks so gross from this side. But it's druzy. Focus. Focus. Ah. I might keep this one. I love druzy. I think it's real silver, too. It certainly looks like it is. Look at that. I, I could stare at that all day. Like, pyrite is one of my favorite stones. It's just like this. This may even be pyrite, but it's hard to say. But it's the exact same color. Usually the crystals are a little larger though, so I'm doubting that it actually is. It's, I would place money on this being uh, anything other than silver. Or I'd place money on it being silver. Okay, that one, that's a keeper. That's a keeper, I'm not selling that. What about this one? It's gotta be a giant piece of tanzanite, right? <laughs> I may just throw that one in the trash. This is, um, maybe I'll put it in the crafting lot. Although I feel like someone's gonna get mad if they got that in their crafting lot. It's just a plastic costume ring. As is this, or is it? Maybe it is not, maybe it's wood or, it might be wood. It's hard to tell these things. But I am not impressed by this ring. Meh. Yes, I do. Ooh, okay, I like this. I like, like I was saying earlier, I like the Aurora uh, Borealis beads and crystals as well. Let's see, are they all there? They appear to all be there. Probably stainless steel, maybe? And does it fit? I don't know that, like, do, can I get away with wearing this or is this like a child's bracelet? I mean, it's, it's woman sized, but should I be wearing it? I don't know. I think it's pretty though. Oh, there's another one. It has a friend. Oh, and there's that cross I was thinking of. Oh, okay. Hmm. I jumped right to it, but let me put this other, let me put my other bracelet on. Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm having too much fun with that. This doesn't feel like real gold, but it is a very, very pretty cross. Look at those designs on there. I'm sure you would love to, if I could get the camera to focus. Come on, camera. Can you see? Can you see all these details on there? There we go. It's unmarked, except for an actual piece of schmutz on there. I don't think it's real gold, but I'm tempted to test it anyway. Let's see what the chain says. The chain says, don't waste your time. That's what the chain says. But this did not come with this chain, I don't believe. <sighs> we'll test it. We'll just test them right at the end. Why not? All right, we've got another one of these mystery, probably wood beads, or uh, rings. This one's a little purple on the inside. It's, it's gotta be wood. I just don't know what kind of wood, so I'll have to research that a little bit. Oh, money. Yeah. Can I pull this one off? No, I cannot. That will go in the craft line. Oh, this is this is also something that I have seen in my past. This looks like uh, something from the 90s to 2000s kind of jewelry. I don't think it's real silver, but we'll test this one too, just because it looks almost tarnished. And it looks like it wants to have a mark, but I can't really tell. So we'll look at that one in a second. This, I don't know. I don't know. 
that the crafting lot. I'm not impressed by that. Oh, here's the Hello Kitty thing. Whew, that thing looks a lot worse in person. And it's missing a crystal. Uh, womp womp. Should I try to save it anyway? I probably will. I'm gonna clean this thing up a bit. Maybe I can get a couple bucks for it anyway. There's nothing, right? All right, and we have another, I have a bunch of these listed on eBay right now. Like three, a lot of three of these things. These watch rings. I don't know that they sell, but this one needs a battery. I might just throw it in with the other ones if I ever sell them. All right, we're almost done. We've got this, ooh, that's pretty. A little starfish. Look at that, that's such a sweet little necklace. That is, that is beach ready. Ready wear. And even the chain is actually quite nice. Very artsy. Oh, look at the end of it even has little pearls on it. And those are real pearls too. All right, I don't think this is real silver, but since we're testing things anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and test this one. And then I'm gonna put this on eBay because I think that will sell. It's just so darling. Oh, I really like that. I will not keep it. I might keep it, but probably not. Okay, this is just a shell necklace. I've got kind of a lot of these things going somewhere. Here we are. I like my beachy themed stuff. We have our shell. I believe this is coral, angel skin coral. Some more shell of some sort, and then maybe like a, a mother of pearl thing going on. So that will go into that lot. They're all similar style and size. All these, I think they're all barrel class. Yeah, they're all barrel class. All into one lot. And here we are, the very last piece. Lapis. Ooh, that is a big old chunk of lapis too. Look at that. That is very nice. That is a huge piece. You can see the golden flecks in there. That is that is really nice too. Okay, and then this one I'll also test. All right, let's do some testing and then I'm going to bed because <laughs> it's like I'm just trying to sneak this video in before I went to bed and after the kids went to bed. Alrighty. Okay, so how many things do we have to test here? One, two, four, five. I guess we'll start with the top four. All right, so we got starfish. We got lapis. This claw guy. Uh, that's definitely not, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste the time on that one. Or maybe I will, cause there's already a streak there. That is not though. I might put him on a chain though and try to sell him. Just for funsies. Okay, and then this guy. The cross. Oops. Yeah. No, he's not. Definitely not gold. Might be silver though. I don't think it is. Okay. All right. There's our lineup. I guess we'll keep this one in the picture just for funsies. All right, we're gonna test with the 18K. Let me zoom in a smidgen. Um, just because it makes my life easier. It's easier to see. Because uh, when you do that, it turns blue. The other one turns a dark red, which is really difficult to see on the black top. All right, so starfish. Are you silver starfish? I can't really tell. Alright, we'll have to come back to him. Ah, it's blue! It's turning blue! <sighs> I knew you were a good piece. Mm hmm Yep, okay. What I'm gonna do, we'll come back to this one and test the beads in between and the chain. But, I feel pretty confident that 
the beads are. I'm not sure about the chain, but this is such a nice piece. It's not signed or anything though, which is a bummer. I would love to know who made it. Okay, all right, back to this. Lapis, do you have a silver chain? You do not, bummer. All right, and this guy we already know is not anything. Okay, Drewzy, you're up. Drewzy's blue. Drewzy's looking blue. I think. How are you, Drewzy? Uh, maybe not. That one's getting kind of a, it's not really doing anything. Which means I need to get a stronger line on there. And then the cross, of course, is out of here. I actually have a religious jewelry lot. So that will go to that one. All right, so what are we, we're gonna test that and try to get better lines on this one. I'm so bummed out this isn't actually silver, but I still think it'll sell though. Just on account of it's awesome. All right, you. Okay, and where is my napkin? I say this every time, don't do this without gloves on. Do not. Okay, so we know that starfish is silver. Now I just gotta get a bead. Here's a good bead. And I'm gonna try to test the bead and then the chain. Oh, I don't know if I can get a good enough scrape on that chain. I don't wanna damage it. All right, so I don't, I don't know if that chain's gonna show up positive or not, but we'll see. And then we're gonna get a better line on this one, right? I think this is the. I'll just do it on that part. I think I did the clasp before. Now this is the actual piece that's surrounding it. All right, bead, chain. I don't know what you call this part. Bezel setting? <laughs> Something like that. All right, so this is definitely, definitely silver. The beads are definitely silver. The chain, I just can't get like a chunky enough reading on it, but that's okay. I feel pretty confident listing this necklace as sterling silver with, with no issue because at the very least the beads are and the starfish, and I feel like that's enough to, to go ahead and list it. This class definitely looks like it's sterling too, so. I mean, look at that. And it's adjustable. I mean, you can pretty much make this any length you want. This is such a lovely necklace. I, I, I just gotta find the buyer and they will eat this thing up, man, because this is cool. And if they don't wear it, or if they don't buy it, I will certainly wear it. It's got, Agate, I guess, must have been one of the stones that whoever owned this lot really liked because there is quite a lot of agate in the whole, in, you know, the collection. And there's some more agate pieces right there. And then we have these, uh, you know, I thought it was a coin pearl, but that one is, this is actually a piece of mother pearl. And then we have some more pearls here in different shapes. This those are potato pearls. I've never seen a square pearl. That's really cool. This is such an interesting piece, man. I'm gonna have a hard time letting that one go. But that is it for this one. I've been down here long enough. Thank you all for holding in there with me. I'm amazed that my battery hung in this long, but that's great. Okay, cool. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you liked the video. And hopefully I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks again. Bye.